After terrorizing the Tulsa area, police say the man accused of sexually assaulting nearly a dozen women is now in a coma. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Ariel Reshef in for Paul tonight. I'm Jessica Shambach. KOCO's Dave Detling has been following this story all day. Dave, how did police know it was him? Well, ladies, investigators say they had no idea who they were dealing with when responding to a crash in northeast Oklahoma. Desmond Campbell is unconscious with police patrolling his hospital room. And tonight, investigators say the streets are safer after this criminal crashed his own car. He has not been responsive. Ex con Desmond Campbell isn't talking because he's in a coma. Police say he's the suspect in a string of sexual attacks on women in northeast Oklahoma, nearly 10 in total. And police say he'd still be on the loose if he hadn't fallen asleep behind the wheel and crashed his car on I-44. When we got information back from OSBI uh, and we got his name, that's when we cracked down that he was in that wreck. And even more chilling, just 10 minutes before this crash, police say he sexually assaulted another woman. You know, obviously we're very happy we can tell our public that, that we thank the person that committed these, these acts uh, is, is not a threat to them anymore. Campbell is no stranger to police. He has a long rap sheet in Oklahoma City. Past charges include sexual battery and assault, attempted robbery, and kidnapping. And they say he was released from jail here in April. Our such crimes investigators are coordinating with Oklahoma City to see if they had any series like this prior to him going to prison. What would not surprise me is that he could have done similar offenses in Oklahoma City, or somebody could have, and not got caught. And tonight, Oklahoma City Police have not said if there are any open cases involving Campbell in the Metro, but they are cooperating with Tulsa investigators. Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.